Welcome back, everybody. It's Gray Spartan yet again, and today I got some gameplay for you on the map called Ascension. You may have played it once or twice. This is actually a pretty decent little map. Um, <laughs> I don't do too bad here. I play a pretty decent game. Unfortunately, I couldn't snipe for anything, as you can see. Look at this. Can I? Can I get a? Can I get get a shot? Maybe? No. Uh, I did get him, but you know. Had to improvise. <laughs> Anyways, that's just the way life goes. Oh, my God. Um, just constantly doing your best, trying to excel. And, and have you ever had those days? Have you ever had the days where you just can't miss with a sniper? You're just on. And then the next day, you can't hit anything. You can't hit the broad side of a barn. I mean, it's just, your shot is just so off. At that point in time, you just need to stop, step back, said, hey, teammate, grab that sniper because I can't do anything with it. Unfortunately, I'm too stupid to do that, and I'll just keep grabbing it and do my best. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Now, this guy's got some interesting armor. You ever see that? This he just red slash blue. I, you know, that's kind of interesting. Now, I would love to see that, and... Um, regular uh, in Halo 5 where your secondary colors do shine through a little bit now this is me uh, performing an epic fail for you gentlemen I, I did that on purpose to show you yes ascension you can fall off the map that's true I did this as 100% on purpose I, I, I wouldn't do that in, in actual um, trying mode <laughs> oh. Sorry guys, I just had like one cup of coffee so far this morning, and um, yeah, it's a little, a little weird. But anyways, we got a lot of stuff coming up here very soon. Uh, we have Gamescom, which is right around the corner, and I wanted to discuss that just a little bit, see what we might see, throw that out there. Um, Gamescom, we are going to see some competitive gameplay. We have an Invitational, uh, competitive for Halo 5. Now, I can't wait to watch that unfortunately I may be working uh, when that does come around and, and I think I do definitely have a dental appointment so I might just be like uh, be sitting around just like I don't do want to do anything but that might be the case um, but if I am able to watch it man you guys need to check that out uh, as far as I know it, it should be streamed but you never know you never know it is in Europe and I imagine that their uh, Gamescom the connections are probably going to be pretty bad uh, and I don't mean that like their, their structure is bad it's just Gamescom is huge uh, Gamescom is uh, not even not even really an, an equivalent to E3 from what I understand what I've heard everyone that's gone it's kind of even bigger than e3 i mean it is just crowded so you have that many people using so much bandwidth and i can only see that there's just not going to be uh, availability for streaming or anything else because it's just going to be nuts uh, too many people trying to use the same things um, but we'll see we'll see uh, i don't think they've officially announced one way or the other yet as a matter of fact, I don't even think they've uh, officially announced the teams. I think other than Optic, I think Optic's the only official American team. Um, Evil Geniuses, of course, they're not uh, not invited so far that we know. Uh, and then it's probably just going to be against uh, European teams, which I don't care. You know what? Uh, who was it last year? Was it VFW or whatever it was? Or VCS? I, I can't remember all these names. Um, but... Uh, they they ran away with it last year uh, with uh, HCS and Halo 2. Granted, it was not <laughs> it was not pretty. Uh, we had all sorts of issues. Uh, them trying to get the game to work and it was just like one thing after another. And that, uh, that MCC man, you gotta love it, uh, love it or hate it. Um, but we have that that's coming up. And now, what else are they going to show besides the competitive stuff? To be honestly honest, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of stuff at uh, e or at Gamescom. Um, 
other than the competitive scene and possibly uh, I don't even think they even have a panel but they might have Warzone or something on the show floor and it's probably going to be the same map uh, that we've already seen uh, the one with the, the whales swimming in the background and everything so I'm not expecting to see a whole lot of Gamescom however after Gamescom we have RTX uh, which is probably like the next week or so afterwards. And so that's probably why you just don't see Bravo or anybody uh, really tweeting out anything or, or interacting with the community because they're probably on a plane somewhere or getting ready to go somewhere or setting up something. Uh, this time of year is just huge. It, uh, they just tons of busy, busy, busy stuff. Um, uh, at RTX, uh, generally they have a panel. Uh, it's usually a panel and it's usually something... Uh, they'll show us something um, at that time we could possibly see some forge I don't know uh, it's possible uh, I think the best chance for seeing forge which I'm super excited for is probably going to be at PAX which is in September PAX Prime and at that time yeah, we're going to be so close uh, to actually getting the game in our hands which is going to be amazing See, I personally, I'm calling out right now is I think Halo 5 is definitely going to be uh, this generation's Halo 2, uh, which is which is good because I think they took everything from Halo 4 and, and they said, you know what, this works, this doesn't work, jetpack. And <laughs> sorry, I had to throw that out there. I hate jetpack. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Um, anyways, they took all that stuff. From Halo 4 and they learned from it and then they took our input and um, they've learned from that and they took the uh, beta which was a year out remember that was a year out from the actual games launch just to, just under a year and no company's ever done that before I mean really uh, some have but console wise I have never seen it and they're able to make so many changes and take that input and apply it to Halo 5 and that's where I think Halo 5 is just going to be amazing already it start it's it's got me hooked and I've only played the beta uh, it was one of the few betas I've ever played from start to finish which which is awesome um, they they have fair starts that, that all the nonsense type of stuff is removed all the active camo and uh, Promethean vision sorry sorry clean up I, I, I hate Promethean vision right along too but anyways I think we're gonna have a good show here coming up and Halo 5 is going to be amazing and if you listen to this video all the way to the end I definitely appreciate it and don't forget to check out my uh, Halo Reach series if you want to check those out those are fun to do uh, I'm gonna finally got a new mic so I'm probably gonna be working with a partner uh, here sometime soon uh, on occasion and we'll see how that goes um, be interesting it'll be interesting to see how that goes probably do a couple of interviews along the way so well thanks for watching guys this is the crazy Spartan I'm out of here